Hey guys, it's Tim here, and today I'll be reviewing Physio, uh, which is a brand new product that allows you to create human spokesperson videos uh, similar to services like Synthesia, Human Synth Studio, uh, and right now it's being launched, so you can get it for a special price. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you a full demo of this software, but before I do so, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, it will redirect you to my website here, where you can find more information about this product, uh, also about the pricing here, and some available upgrades, what's included. You can simply click on these tabs here and read all about it. And also, if you pick this up through my link, you're going to get these extra bonuses for free as a thank you for picking this up through my link as well. So make sure to check out that link uh, before you purchase, if you decide to purchase this. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you what Visio is all about. So right now you can see here that I've rendered three videos here. Uh, so when I zoom in, I'm gonna show you an example. The first one will sound some robotic and I'm gonna fast forward it as well, uh, where I'm gonna show you another voice as well. Introducing Dreamy Weddings, your premier wedding planner and designer. With years of experience and a passion for creating unforgettable experiences. So here you can see an example of what you will be creating with this creator. But when I forward this to here, for example, uh, you can hear another voice that I've used in the same project. We're committed to providing you with exceptional service and attention to detail, ensuring that your wedding day is stress-free and everything you've ever... So that sounds a lot better, right? So basically you choose these characters that you see right here and then you create your videos based on those characters. Now to get started here, you click on create AI video and you can create your new project in here. So you give this a name, I'm gonna call this review project. You can give a client name as well and then you click on create. Now from here, you will be able to choose from the available templates. Now you can start from scratch as well here. So this is a blank template here at the right side, but you can choose also from these available templates. So let's say, for example, you want to do a, a, a chiropractor here or chiropractor, chiropractor, not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, you can choose this template in here. You can load the slides and look at this here. Boom, you got your whole project already ready in here. Now, um, of course, you can start from blank like I showed you, but let's take this as an example to show you how it works. So right now you can see here, this is the video that we're creating here at the top. You can see this is the character that we're using right now. Now, when I click on this character, I can also choose one of the other available characters on uh, the left side here of the screen. So as you can see, there are many characters available. So if I like to have a man, I can click on James, for example, and there we have James. Now. Here you can see that I can set them to the left, to the center, or to the right. So in this case, uh, you would say I'm setting set him in to the right. This somehow I need to select him and then put him to the right here. And now he's at the right side of the screen doing the talking for us. Now, when we scroll down here, you can choose the voices in here. So here it says English USA, uh, but there are many voices available inside of Visio. Now, in this case, we're going to do USA and there are a lot of voices available. I noticed in here. And one of the cool things is that they've also implemented this uh, previous or this week, I've launched my own product uh, with my friends. And look at this, they also added voiceovers with different speaking styles like angry, cheerful, excited, etc. So that's a very good thing. Uh, if you see those voices, these are the good voices. So when I click play here, Hi, everyone. I'm Emma, and I'm a chiropractor here to share some information with you. So that's the script that's already been written for you. But of course, you can write your own script in here. Now, you can see other things as well. So you can add breaks. Uh, you could add paragraphs, sentence, uh, say as, for example. So, for example, you can say this needs to be pronounced as a telephone number or a currency. So you can select words and then you can tell the voiceover how to pronounce that voice over. So you have these options in here, emphasis. If you want to have a strong emphasis, you can do that as well. Uh, or you can choose another tone. Now, most of the times you will be doing friendly or hopeful, uh, or you can choose another voice. So for example, here, you can also go up. And then for example, let's say we want to do Elizabeth in here. We can listen to Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. I'm Emma. And I'm a chiropractor here to share some information with you about how chiropractic. Now, this is a standard voice. As you can see, I cannot choose a emo an emotion in here. So, uh, unfortunately, you cannot see that up front. I think Jenny has one, as you can see here. 
Hi everyone, I'm Emma, and I'm a chiropractor here to share. So I like this voice. And what you can do here, you can change the speaking speed. Personally, I would keep it the way it is. It's a pitch at zero, etc. blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is how you can choose to uh, add your script. So you simply type your script on each slide that you have here. So if you want to go to the next slide here, you go to the next slide. Now you can change every slide in here. So this was the first slide, as you can see, with a different photo, the second slide. And if you like to add your own slides, you can also click on the plus here. Uh, to show you how it works. So here at the left side, you have the templates that we just chose, uh, but you can also choose some other backgrounds. So you can do a colored background, but you can also go to the images in here. And then for example, uh, Cairo Prector. Let's see if there are images here. So you could also do something like this, and then you can do it like this crop this image, and now this will be your background in here. You can choose your avatar on top. So let's say we want to have this James again. Then we can click James. We say James to the left here, and we're going to add text as well. So you can add a title in here. You can change the title. You can change the colors in here. Everything that you want to modify, you can do that in here. Uh, and then simply, you can add all different kind of elements. So you can add different kind of shapes. For example, if you want to have a shape, you can do that here. You can make that big and then do that at the bottom, for example, and then give this another color uh, that matches to your slide. It's just you can design whatever you like on each slide. You can also add images. So for example, if you want to have a single image here on top, you can simply crop this and then add a single image inside of your slide. Then it will be added in here. Uh, and you can also add animations to parts of your slides. So let's say I want to add an animation to this image. I can do that as well. And then I can say, okay, I want to have this from the left, for example, that it flies in. So you can do that with each element on your page. Now, another thing that you can do is you can translate your script as well. So you can translate this to another language here, uh, and then it will be translated automatically to another language as well. You can select that in here. Now, another feature is the subtitle. You can enable subtitle so that there will be a subtitle on top of your videos. And let's go to another slide here. And what you also can do is if you already have a voiceover, you can choose it from here as well. You can upload your own audio or you can select the audios that you've rendered before because there's also a text to speech option inside of Visio. Now, in this case, we're going to keep it with this text here for each slide. And if you want to preview this thing, you can click on this preview button also here at the top. Basically, that does exactly the same. Now, here at the top, you have the different layers so that you can layer your design if something has to be on top, etc. And once you're done, you can simply click on render video. Now, one thing that I didn't show you yet is that you can also add music on top of your videos here. Um, you can upload your own music or you can go through the library that's included in here uh, with the different categories that you can choose from uh, or you can upload your own music, which I personally always prefer. Now, once you're done with your project, you simply click on render video and now your video will be rendered. Now, depending on how many slides you have, uh, it will render your video. Text is required for all slides. So let's delete the latest slide here and let's render the video and then it should render again. And as you can see, within a few seconds, it will give me a message about the rendering process. Now here you can see uh, it will take up to 38 minutes. So that's important to know that your videos uh, will not be rendered within seconds, not within a few minutes, depending on how many slides you got, how complicated you make your work, it will take time to render your slides. So that's very important to know. Now, then the next thing that you can do here is when you go back to your videos, you have your projects in here. So if you like to change a project, you simply open your project again. So if you want to change the financial advisor, you can select that project and you can start working on that project again. And then once your videos are rendered, you will see them here in my gallery uh, where you can download your videos. Or if you like to edit them, you click on the edit button and you can start editing your current project again.
Now, then the next thing uh, which is also included is the text to voice. Now, here you can create text to speech or you can do text translator to speech. So let's say you have something in English and you want to translate that to Dutch and you want to have a Dutch voiceover, then you can use this second option. In this case, we're going for text to speech in here. I'm going to do review text to speech. I'm going to click create. And now we're going to paste something in here. So I already have something in here. I'm gonna paste that in here. And now I can do exactly the same as what we could do with our video. So you could change the language in here. And then based on the language that, you cho that you, you're you choosing here, uh, you can choose the voiceover here at the right side. Now, as you can see, this is a basic voiceover. And let's select Abigail here. And when you select Abigail, you can click on the preview here. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos. So this is a default one. Now, like I said here, um, there are also other voices. So let me see if I can find one here. The Jenny one, for example, here. And here you can select the speaking style. So for example, angry, cheerful, sad, excited, friendly, terrified, shouting. Uh, you can use those. So let's say I want to do cheerful here. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. So let's say I want to use this voiceover. I simply click on create here and then boom, the voiceover has been generated. And when I scroll down, I can see the voiceover here. In today's fast-paced world. Now, let's say I want to have another voice as well. Um, and I want to have a male voice. So let's say I want to have Joey, Joey for example, here. Let's preview him. In today's fast-paced world. Well, this is not a really good voice. Let's say Kevin in here. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. Let's say we want to have a young person in here. You can click on create again, and it will create the voice again for you. Now, when I scroll down, you can see I have two voices here, Kevin and Jenny. Now, what you can do is you can select these voices and then you can click on merge here and I can say yes, merge it. Now these two voices have been merged inside of one project. So it starts with Jenny. In today's fast paced world, oh, with it's Kevin. easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. And when I go to the end here, uh, here, it's Jenny. Caught up in the chaos of... See, so you can merge multiple voiceovers as well. Now you have neural... AI voices, you have custom voices in here where you can also create your custom voice. So when I click here, I can upload my own audio and then it will generate a voice for me. Now let me do that. So I'm gonna click on upload in here, go to downloads, Tim's voice and generate Tim's voice. Gonna click on generate here. And now it's going to process my voice. I'll be back. Oh, there it is. Your voice will be available in a few minutes and you'll receive a notification when available. I'm going to show you that a little later. So you have your custom voices in here and you've got your pro voices where you can choose from. So there are a lot of voices. Uh, let me just, let's just listen to a few here. So I want to go to custom voices, uh, neural voices here. Oh, we can only preview the neural voices. So let's let me just show you a few here. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. And let's choose Anna. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. So that's a kit, also cool. Area is also a very good one. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. So Ariel also has speaking styles. So for example, you can say um, tearful. In today's fast paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily And then we can do, for example, uh, angry. In today's fast paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. And let's do um, boom, boom, boom. Terrified. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. So you can see all different kind of voice that you can use in here.
So this is the text to speech, as you can see. Uh, it will create voiceovers for you. Uh, and yeah, you can download them in each project. So here you can see the project. So when we open a project, you can see the voices that we have created inside of that project. And we can download those voices as well. So now we can go back to the test and go to our custom voice in here, which is Tim's voice. You see that? That's what we just upload. So I have no idea what it is. I can click on create and let's see what it created for us. It's processing, success, uh, boom, boom, boom. Tim's voice. Okay, now it's processing with my voice. So I'll be back in a second. All right, and it's ready. I haven't heard about it myself. So let's listen to it together. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of daily life. But finding a sense of peace and tranquility is essential for our overall well-being. Well, you may decide if that sounds like my voice. I think the voice in general sounds good. Um, yeah, I find my own voice to sound differently, but this is what it can create with your voice. And probably when you use a longer audio sample, it will create a better voice for you. Uh, but this is one of the options inside of Visio. And basically, that's what Visio is all about. Uh, create videos with spokesperson based on text to speech. And uh, if you're interested, again, check out the link in the description of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. Uh, also, hit a thumbs up if this video was useful. And if you have any questions, uh, yeah, ask them. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Talk soon. Cheers.